Welcome. Today we're going to do a hip style yoga. So a little bit more intense. Do what you can. Uh, anytime you feel like it's too much, just drop down into child's pose. If you have two blocks, please grab them. If you don't, we can make it work without it. Let's start in a regular child's pose. Feet flat on the mat, sit back on your heels. You can either prop up on your forearms and use the block to rest your forehead at any height. Or go ahead and walk those hands forward, mount the chest and forehead to the mat. We're gonna take three deep breaths, becoming present on the mat, leaving any stresses off of the mat during our practice. We're going to inhale to the count of four through the nose and exhale to the count of eight through the mouth three times. Let's take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Gently lift your head. Walk those hands toward your knees. Place the left hand right by your left knee. Reach the right arm behind you. Opening up the chest. Take an inhale. And exhale. Bring the right hand down in front of the right knee. Open up that left arm. Opening up the chest. Inhale, and exhale. Coming to tabletop. Turn the hands, fingertips facing you, and we're gonna slowly roll through those hands and fingers, sitting back on our heels, coming forward. Come on back, and forward. Come on back, and forward. This time we're going to place the backs of the hands on the mat and roll through, come on back up, roll through and back one more time and place one hand then the other. We're going to swing the legs around, come into an L shape, bring the legs out long, feet flex, sitting up nice and tall. Reach for your toes, keeping your spine long. If the toes are too much, hold on to your shins. This should feel um, like a relief, like a relieving stretch. You don't want it to be painful. So if it feels painful, just back off a little bit. Take an inhale and an exhale. See if you can maybe go a little bit further. Take an inhale. And exhale. And see if you can go a little bit further this time. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to back off just a little bit. Let the hands hover over the feet. And we're going to just pulse forward, adding the breath. Inhale to lift, 
Exhale to lower. One more. Go ahead and move the blocks to the side. Right arm out. We're going to hook the left arm around it. Pull it in towards your chest. Look over that shoulder. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Left arm comes out. Hook the right arm around. Pull it in towards your chest. Look over that shoulder. Inhale. And exhale. Walk the right fingertips out. Bend through that elbow. Reach that left arm over left ear. Keeping the chest open. Take an inhale. And exhale. Come on over to the left. Bend through that elbow. Right arm over right ear. Chest is open. Take an inhale. And exhale. We're going to bend the right leg. Foot flat on the mat. Hug that right leg with the left arm. Twisting to the right. Look over the right shoulder. Left foot is flexed. Take an inhale. And an exhale. And let's take it to the other side. Left foot flat on the mat. Hug with that right arm. Twisting over to the left. Look over that shoulder. Take an inhale. And an exhale. We're going to come into a tabletop. Hands on the mat right under the shoulders, knees right under the hips, feet flat on the mat. We're going to what I like to call pee on the fire hydrant. First, engaging through the core by gently lifting the belly button towards the spine. We're gonna lift the right arm and right leg, bending them both in, and we're gonna bring them in through the center and open. In through the center and open. Start adding your breath. through that right wrist, placing the back of the hand on the mat. Fill the lungs with oxygen and empty them completely. Let's take it over to the other side. Left leg comes out, right arm comes out. Keep that core engaged. Bend everything into the side. Bring it in. Inhale to open. Exhale to center. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, keep going. And bring it down. Let's take a moment, sit back on those heels, come into your child's pose. However that looks like, either on your forearms, neck in line with the spine, using a block to rest, or melting all the way towards the mat. Big inhale, and exhale. Big inhale, and exhale. We're going to round through the tabletop. Walk those hands forward, melting the chest and the forehead to the mat, coming into puppy pose. Hold it for three breaths, tailbone reaching for the sky, chest melting towards the mat. And gently lift the head. We're going to walk those hands back under the shoulders and come into down dog. Curl the toes, lift the hips, melt the chest towards the sides. Take a moment, stretch through the backs of the legs. 
by bending one knee and straightening the other. Take three deep breaths here. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. And you can keep a bend in your knees if you're working on straightening your spine. On your next inhale, we're going to reach the right leg up to three-legged dog. And we're going to exhale, tap the toe. Inhale, exhale, tap the toe. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap the toe. Keep that belly melted towards the thighs. On your next inhale, bring that knee into the chest. Step it up between the hands. Turn and flatten on that back foot. Both hands on the inside of that foot. We're gonna cartwheel open into warrior two. Pressing into the outside of the back foot. Pressing into all four corners of the front foot. Sometimes straightening the leg and then bending into it will help. Small tuck of the pelvis. Open up those arms. We're gonna come into Peaceful Warrior as we inhale. And we're gonna exhale that elbow to knee. Inhale, Peaceful Warrior. Exhale, elbow to knee.
turning onto our side. I'm gonna keep my bottom leg bent and on the floor as a modification. I'm gonna lift my right arm and right leg and I'm going to tap my shin and stretch it out and then tap knee to elbow, stretch it out. Add the breath in.
Two more. Hands on the hips, straighten through both legs. The back foot is gonna to turn to the right of the mat, front foot facing the front of the mat. As we bend through the front leg, turn on the ball of the back leg. Keep hands on the hips. Big inhale and exhale, pulse. Frame that front foot. Slide that leg back. Coming into your high plank. We're gonna turn both feet outside of the left foot, inside of the right foot, and keep both hands on the mat. Twisted plank. Big inhale and exhale. Come on over to the other side. Keep both hands on the mat. Big inhale and exhale. Come back through center. Drop the knees, sit back, child's pose, take a break. Fill the lungs with oxygen, empty them. And let's round it forward. Curl the toes under, and we're going to step the right foot behind the right hand, step the left foot behind the left hand. Feet slightly turned out, we begin melting the tailbone towards the mat, pushing those thighs out with the elbows, hands to heart, coming into yogic squat or malasana. Your heels may lift off the mat, that's actually quite common. Hold it here. Take a deep breath. We're gonna lift up just a little bit. Take a deep breath. Lift up, hold for a breath. Come up a little further, hold. A little further, hold. Make sure you're breathing. A little further, hold. A little further hold and straighten through the legs. Shake them out. You're probably sweating profusely because I certainly am. So take a minute in mountain pose. Use a towel to wipe your sweat. Maybe not your shirt or your shirt. I won't be the judge. And just take a moment to catch your breath. Hands down by your side. Feet are rooted through all four corners into the mat. Legs activated by lifting the kneecaps. Pelvis slightly tucked, open through the ribs. Shoulders relaxed, close your eyes. Take three breaths. Go ahead and bring hands to heart. We're gonna bring the weight into the left foot as we bend the right knee. Coming in to warrior three. I know your legs are probably shaking. Reach for the mat or the ground with your fingertips. And we're gonna tap that toe to the mat and lift. Add in the breath. And step it up. Come into forward fold. Melt that belly towards the thighs. Let the torso hang heavy. Grab opposite elbows and rag doll. Sway side to side. Release the hands. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Bring the weight into the right foot, bend through the left knee. Come into your warrior three. 
Fingertips reach for the mat or the ground. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and step it up. Forward fold. This time, hug it in. Wrap those arms around your shins. Or calves. You know what I mean. And come into halfway lift. Hands on the shins this time. Nice long spine. Open through the chest. Inhale and exhale. Forward fold. Hands to the mat. Step it back. Drop down on those knees. Coming back into tabletop. Knees are under the hips. Hands under the shoulders. Curl the toes under. Lift the knees one inch off the mat. And we're going to do a hovering cat-cow. So we inhale, open the chest, lift the chin, arch the back. Exhale, round through. Inhale, open. Exhale, round through. Inhale, open. Exhale, round through. One more time. Drop it down. Swing those legs around. We're going to grab our block and slowly lay back. We're going to bring the legs up and we're going to reach our block, lifting our upper back off of the mat. Now, if you don't have a block, come into steeple grip and just lift like so. Add the breath in. Looking up at the sky. Keep that chin away from the chest. Shh, 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 shh. Hug it in. Give yourself a little massage. Rock it back and forth. Legs come up, we're gonna open up the legs, flex through the feet. This time, everybody does steeple grip. Big inhale, we're gonna lift up our back, and exhale, pulse. Okay, that sounded really bad, but you 
component. And pull everything in. Keep the tailbone on the mat though. Take a deep breath. Deep breath. And let's release. Let's take it to the other side. Left leg crosses over. Right shin parallel with the sky. Again, you can wrap it around both legs and interlace or bring it through and bring everything in. Tailbone flat. Big breath. One more. And go ahead and release. Both legs out long. Hug the right knee into the chest. Grabbing the toe with your peace fingers. The right big toe. Lift that leg straight overhead. There can be a micro bend in the knee. I prefer a micro bend. Left hand on left thigh to keep it in place. You can point or flex the foot to keep it flat on the mat. Deep breath. And let's begin to open it out to the side, keeping both shoulder blades on the mat. Deep breath. And bend it in. Hug it into your chest one more time. And then we're going to twist over to the left. Right arm comes out. Look over towards that hand. Point the toes. Inhale. And exhale. Come on back. Right leg out long now. Hug the left knee into the chest. And grab that big toe with your peace fingers. Straighten that leg overhead. Right hand on right thigh to keep it in place. Micro bend in the knee. Open it up to the side. Keep both shoulder blades on the mat. Inhale. And exhale. Bend that knee in, hug it in towards the chest, and bring both feet to the mat. Turn onto your side, come into a lovely seat. We're going to finish today in the middle split. I need to start working um, on our right and left splits in this series. We haven't done a lot of that, so I will try to incorporate, incorporate that in tomorrow's practice. If you have a block or two, you can stack them however you want. Um, you don't need a block or two. We're gonna sit up tall, make sure you're not rolling back. I know I repeat myself a lot, but you never know who's new. We're gonna grab with the peace fingers, both big toes, if that's too much, you can place your hands on the inside of the shins and rest your forehead on the blocks. If you can reach and it's not uncomfortable, rest your forehead on the block. Hold here for three breaths. And slowly roll it up. We're going to come into a comfortable seat. If you want to sit up on a block, I like to. Maybe you want to. We're going to cross at the ankles or half lotus, or you can bring one foot in and then the other. Sitting up tall. As we inhale and reach the arms overhead, we're gonna picture love, happiness, prosperity, all the good feelings. And just picture them absorbing into you with each inhale. We're gonna hold the breath for a few moments at the top. And as you exhale, I want you to 
just picture you're letting go of all, anything that's not serving you, anything that's causing you stress, anything causing you harm. Let's take a deep breath in, arms overhead. Hold at the top. And release, let go. And I do highly recommend emptying out your lungs with those exhales. Let's do it one more time, deep breath in. Hold. Hands to heart. Gently open your eyes. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me today for this hit practice. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you back tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste.